Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, chemistry here. I'm going to be showing you how to make a melody on FL Studio 10. Um, if you don't have FL Studio 10, it just came out, so um, don't worry. Just follow along with the uh, piano rolls. You know, don't freak out. It'll, it'll work yeah, either way um, on whatever FL Studio you really have. So <clears throat> I'll be showing you how to make a melody. Um, it'll be pretty simple. It's more for like the, the beginners or the people that are just getting the hang of it and I'll also be going, getting into bass lines as well um, I guess the first thing I'll say is uh, if you're trying to make your bass line which is probably the first thing you want to do um, if you want to have your melody play out in tune um, you gotta think you know what kind of bass line you want to make it can be either major or minor and um, that affects the entire song and how um, what kind of emotions are being kind of transmitted through the song. Um, minor will kind of give you the emotional moody stuff kind of like you'd hear in trance or hard style or you know that sort of thing. Sometimes I think techno uses that as well because you can get a happy melody off minor. I'm not saying that it's always going to be really sad but like um, it's more it's, it's leaning more towards that, that uh, emotion I guess. And major is basically the opposite, is just, you know, happy and uplifting. So um, we're going to be doing that today since I, I find it being uh, easier if you're uh, starting out um, FL Studio, just use a major bass line. So we're going to be uh, starting it up on C. Um, just notice how I'm using uh, the offbeat section of the piano roll. So um, it's basically two blocks ahead. Um, from when the piano actually like stops, that creates the kick bass uh, sequence, I guess. I guess I'll just get a kick really quick so I can show you. Yeah, so um, that basically shows you that. And um, um, that you should always make your bass line that way. Offbeat bass lines are usually the way to go. Um, <clears throat> I'll just be using a C major because um, it doesn't use, the, the scale doesn't use any black notes. You basically have to like forget about the black notes, just concentrate on all the white ones as you're making the melody. Um, if you're having troubles, you know, figuring out what notes to use after the first note uh, you choose in the bass line, so I chose C. If you don't know what to use afterwards, um, like I said, it's just use white notes, but um, you, you can really just mix it around. I'm using um, C, G, A, F, so it's doing like the... Um, if, you know, if you don't like that, um, you can mix it around. You can go... Or even... You know, just kind of mix it around through uh, those kind of notes, you know, those four notes or... Uh, you know, you don't have you have a lot of options, but you don't have that many notes to choose from. Just kind of mix it around. Um, <clears throat> so getting into the melody now. Um, so there, there's, there's, you know, certain notes you want to begin your melody with. You can begin with C, which is the bass line note, the first one, or you can try G, which is like the middle from C, the two C's. Or um, what I like to call the orgasmic note is, uh, um, in this case, it's E. But how you figure that out, you just have to look at the first note that you made that you, or that you chose for your bass line and then take two full steps and then you'll find the orgasmic note right here. So one, two, orgasmic note. So kind of make this. I'm going to take off that kick. And uh, for minor, it's full step, half step. And yeah, there you go. Um, so what we'll be doing is we'll be putting every note of the melody um, whenever the bass line isn't playing, I guess, uh, filling out every hole. Um, as you can see, it's just filling it out. Yeah, I, I know I added one here, just <laughs> I, I, I can't help it. So 
So I guess, um, like I said, you only have to concentrate on the white notes with this particular bass line. If, you're, if you were to move it up any, um, you would have at least one black note that you have to worry about. Um, I just find if it, you know only having white notes make it more simple, and you know you really can't go wrong. I mean, as long as you start off with something um, like E, for example, for this particular bass line E, um, whatever you kind of choose afterwards. You know, if you do listen to happy, you know, hardcore or um, hands up or that sort of thing, it, you'll you'll kind of hear in your head what should come next. Just kind of fill out the holes, and then after you have this particular sequence here, um, you can just, you know, mix it around, add more variation, you know, maybe l change the length of certain notes. You know, something like that, and make it more, you know, um, you know, let, let maybe you know cancel out that repetition of just having every note single out like that, and that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm gonna be coming out with a <clears throat> advanced melody tutorial right after this, so if you want to see some more of that, uh, I'll put a link in the description and that and an annotation. And um, I also have three other songs um, available in my channel, so if you want to go check that out, that'd be great. Um, I have a few remixes and an original song, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so if you could comment, rate, subscribe, all that stuff, that'd be great. So, yeah, thanks.